All right, so I'm on this morning walk, just enjoying some of this beautiful nature here in Washington. And I was thinking about motivation because motivation is like something that we all want. But I think the most important thing with motivation is like realizing that it's not going to last because we might be motivated to do that thing the first time. But when you're doing something like 10, 15, 20 times down the line, like the motivation is not going to be there. It's about you and the person who you really are with yourself. But I think it's important to understand that and also realize that most of our problems in life come from avoidance. Most of our problems come from avoiding that one thing we know we need to get done. And now we might not have motivation for that one thing in that given moment, but avoiding it, that's like where most of our problems stem from. If you really think about it, like pushing off your bills, pushing off getting in shape, pushing off eating clean, like most of our problems come from avoiding that one thing because you don't, you don't want to do it. The motivation isn't there, but that's where it's kind of important. Just realizing that step and just realize like when it's good, enjoy the good times because the bad times are the more difficult times. They're just going to be right around the corner. And then when it's really bad or when it's very hard, like embrace that too, because life kind of goes in cycles where it's good. It'll be good for a maybe a good while and it'll be really good and then when it's bad it's gonna be bad for a good a good time as well and probably be really bad so understand that and when it is tough when you're really like thugging it out it's like a really difficult time for you just try to learn from that because it will get better it's not like a matter of if it like it's when it will get better so like try to learn as much as you can from those difficult times because when it's tough when you're like failing or you think you're failing it's all in the mind because failing can just be used as learning. Because if you don't fail, like how are you gonna know not to make that same mistake down the line in the future? So I think that's like the first part of just understanding that. And like, like realize that the person you spend the most time with is yourself. And while you think it's about gaining and not losing the respect of like all these people in the world, the most important person is yourself. Try not to lose their respect. Try not to lose your own respect because if you don't trust yourself with what you're doing, with the things you're trying to do and get better at your beliefs, like who's gonna trust you if you don't even trust yourself and how can people respect you? Like I know for me, I believe in the things I'm doing, even when they're going bad. Of course, when they're going good, people are gonna be like, yeah, like keep doing your thing, Alex. It's easy to stay motivated. But when things are going bad, that's like a much more difficult task because like it's hard to keep going but i think i talked about that in the last video and that's exactly the difference that you got to realize like most people are giving up most people are giving up when it uh when it gets boring most people are giving up right when things start to get really tough so i want you to just keep going just keep kind of moving forward like that's kind of the name of the game there's an analogy i love that i actually created in my mind i don't know how i thought of this but Life is kind of like a tunnel. Like I'm on this trail right now just walking, but life is kind of like a tunnel. And uh, at the end that you're at right now, it's probably nice. It's like nice weather. It's, it's nice and it's very comfortable. Now on the other side of the tunnel, it's gonna be light as well. And it's gonna be beautiful, probably even more beautiful than where you're at right now. The capabilities, what you could get out of it, what you could see, it's, it's a lot more of an upgrade. Look at it like that. But unless you are willing to go through that time of darkness, that time where it's like, you don't know if it's going to be okay. You don't know how long that darkness is going to last. You're not going to get towards that pot of gold on the other side, right? So you got to realize you got to go through those tough times and keep going because you don't know how long it's going to go. But if you keep going, when most people are wanting to give up, like the view is probably going to be a lot more beautiful than what you had to start with. So don't avoid that problem. Keep moving forward and keep going through that darkness, bro. Because like most people are going to turn back right away. And if you can go through that darkness, that's already separating yourself from the rest of the pack. And if you're doing those hard things every single day facing adversity, it's like you aren't really going to need that motivation because you just are capable of doing those hard tasks. Motivation, like if we boil it down, it's, it's like kind of like for people who don't get shit done. It's kind of for people who need a reason to do something. Like if you're just doing your thing, 
if you're just getting it done, you're eating your meals, you're going to the gym, you're getting your sleep, like the results in the gym, or I guess like your body transformation, what you see in front of the mirror, it's like, it's just gonna come. There's gonna be no question of it. But for those people who like, like, oh, like I just wanna watch another Netflix series or whatever, it's like, they're gonna need that motivation. But if we're just doing those things every single day, even when, and even if we don't feel like it, cause that's inevitable, like we're gonna get shit done and we're gonna separate ourselves from the rest of the pack. So I'm on my morning walk, as I said, on my rest days, I like just kind of getting the day started doing something like this because I love going to the gym, but I also love resting because it makes my workouts better and makes me appreciate the gym more. So trying to get some morning sunlight, like Mr. Huberman says, right? But yeah, dude, motivation, understanding that most of our problems come from avoidance will solve like most problems in your life. The last thing I want to touch on, on this walk, is that, like, make it easier on yourself. Make it easier on yourself so it's not about motivation. So, for example, like, say you want to eat cleaner. Say you want to eat cleaner and you have, like, junk food in your house. Well, if you eliminate that junk food, if you take that shit out of your house, you don't need motivation to eat clean. It's like, it's not there. It's not an option. You would actually need more motivation to go out of your house, to go to the grocery store, to get those Oreos, those Twinkies, all that garbage than you would if you just don't have it in your house. So do that when you're going to the gym, but you don't want to. Don't listen to your favorite playlist. I know it might be hard, but delay that gratification. Don't listen to your favorite music, your favorite artist, except when you're at the gym. So it'll make it a more enjoyable activity for me in the gym. Obviously, I'm not trying to stack all these dopaminergic activities, but I'm listening to my favorite music. I'm drinking pre-workout. I'm in clothes I feel good in. Like, it's gonna be easy for me to get that shit done in the gym because I enjoy it. I'm making it an enjoyable experience. So those things you don't wanna do, try to make them as enjoyable as possible. Try to like, kind of trick yourself into enjoying those activities because once you do it the first five to 10 times, that's the like, that's the hardest part because that long journey, it's so hard because you got to get started those first few steps and you see how far it is the scope of like how far it is ahead. But if you just keep going and you keep focusing on just taking one step at a time, one step each day, it's not going to be that bad. So that's what I got. Hope this really helped you, bro. Most of your problems come from avoidance. So those things you're avoiding, stop avoiding them, tackle them head on and uh, do the hard stuff. Not going to feel like it, but you'll feel better in the long run. So that's what I got.